So I was in a conference, and they were talking about that spirometry is just an aspect of what is called pulmonary function test. There is ability to measure how much air is in the lungs, the ability of the lungs to transfer oxygen. So when should I refer my patients to a lung specialist, to the chest specialist, to do all these other tests, and in which way this could help me in the diagnosis and in the management of the patient with COPD? So probably the best reason and the most important reason to refer a patient is if you have somebody really short of breath who doesn't meet the criteria for COPD. That's where what you were talking about, those scarring of the lung and interstitial lung disease. Now in a COPD patient that's very short of breath, very symptomatic, then the other breathing tests can measure how much air is in the lungs and that can tell us how much is trapped in there. Because part of the problem with COPD, even though it feels like patients can't get their air in, the reality is they can't empty their lungs, so they can't get a new breath in. And so it can help with that. There's another thing called diffusion that measures how much oxygen and carbon dioxide goes across the little air sacs of the lung. With this diffusion test, if a patient has really, really bad symptoms and it looks like their spirometry values are not that bad, the diffusion may be very low and that's a patient that probably should be referred to one of the pulmonologists to look to see if there are other things that are going on. The other people that I would refer are those that have frequent bronchitis or exacerbations. Those are ones that I think really need to be seen by a lung specialist to make sure there are not other things going on as well.